today i hope you guys are having a fabulous day today is monday it is the beginning of my kids spring break so today is i believe the third second or third but anyway i just want to come in and let you guys know what has been going on with your girl but first i want to say hello to all my new subscribers that have been subscribed um through this period of time that I have been absent and I want to say hello for all my returning um, subscribers thank you for sticking with me and not clicking that unsubscribe button because I have been MIA for the last two months but anyway I just want to come in and let you guys know what has been going on and it has been the biggest the, the busiest sorry two months that I for the last two months, it has been so busy, you guys. And I hope that you guys, well, I'm sure you guys understand that I live a very busy life. I have, for those that don't know, I do have five, we do have five children, my husband and I, and my husband is active duty military. He is in the Navy. So it is quite, and this year has been, well, ever since we have moved, we have moved within the last, um, seven months or so so it's been quite hectic and I have wrote some notes down because I don't want to come in and forget anything but yeah okay so let's get started right okay so the first thing first is um, my last video if you guys had um, paid attention I did say that I was gonna be going to California and I don't think I really told the reason why I was going to California kind of I kind of left that alone and um i guess i was waiting for this video right here my returning well i went to california um dd and i the baby we went to california to uh, visit our well visit my parents and i flew into vegas to where my sisters live and i have two sisters out in vegas so i flew into vegas and then we drove from Vegas to California and my brother he lives in California so he drove from where he lives to you know my parents and we all met and then we all went to the house we surprised them it was the it was a surprise that my mom and dad had no idea about we just wanted to go ahead and do it we felt like it was time my sisters and brothers we have not all been around each other at the same location since 1999 so you do the math on that whenever we have get together somebody's always missing because of work or whatever or me being somewhere in the country and i can't make it but this was the first time in so long that we were able to be all together underneath the same roof surprise our parents they were it was the funniest thing because when we showed up it was late at night i can't remember what time it was but we drove in it was pretty late and sorry about that but um we drove in and it was like uh the oldest to the youngest i'm the youngest out of four and so it was my sister my brother my sister and then myself and we all walked in and my dad was the one to get the front door and you know it was just kind of like you know he was like what's going on here like what and he was like oh my gosh and then my mom of course you know she was just like oh my gosh i cannot believe it all of you guys are here so it was so nice and it was so needed you have no idea how much this was needed for us just to be all in the same location and I'm just so thankful that I was able to do it. But, um, so like I said, we were at, I mean, I went to my parents. And the reason why, I'm not going to get into detail exactly the reason why uh, we all did this. But it was due to um, a family member being sick. And we just really wanted it. That was, that was the main reason why we really 
all had to be there at the same time just to show our love and you know to let that person know we love you we're here you know and just all that so that was a big deal you guys and it was the first time my parents met Dee Dee um which is our youngest she's eight months now so it, it was just it was just a blessing to be able to do that you know um being on this side of the country it's not easy just to hey fly over and when you have five kids i have to go by my husband's schedule you guys already know if you have a military if you're living a military life or you know someone it's just or if you just have you know a family where it's just hard to do things like that you know you have to bring them all or you know you got to go around somebody's schedule so my husband he was available he took time off for me to go out there and visit so I did not vlog I, I did some I started to but then it just kind of like you know dawned on me like you know what this is a special moment right here I need to kind of keep this amongst us excuse me excuse me so it was it was kind of like I took I took tons of pictures of course but it, it was definitely one of those times where I was just like, you know what? No, YouTube does not need to see this. This is the time that my sisters and brothers, my mom and dad, we just need for ourselves. And, you know, another time we'll do it. You know, I'll do it. But it was, it was so nice. It was just, it was so nice to see my parents' face. Like that was just everything right there. And my brother and my sisters, they're just like, yeah, we got to do this again. And, you know, I'm hoping that we'll be able to do this, do this again. But I just know that, you know, with our schedules, everybody's spread out. You know, we, we got to do it when we're able to. So that was like the, the, one of the biggest things that happened. So, so that happened in February. I went the uh, week before Valentine's Day. So I stayed there for about, I think, was I think, I think it was about there for what, five days, five or six days? Was it a week? I can't remember y'all, but I was, I was there for a good, a good bit. So that way I can visit. So that is like the big thing right there. So the next one was, this one just happened recently within the last we went two weeks ago two what month are we? okay we're in april now uh this happened two weeks ago a little over two weeks ago um we took a family trip meeting my little family right here well it's little to us but big to y'all uh, we went we took the kids to washington dc and um what leads to another situation, the reason why we did this family trip was is going to lead to the next reason why, it, which is my husband deploying. But we always like to do a trip before he, he leaves and a trip after. So we decided to go ahead and do Washington, D.C. since it's like three hours or so away from us. And it was just something easy and fun to do. And we had i mean that's going i mean like we had so many stories i have so many stories to tell about that from it being freezing freaking cold like it's cold in virginia it's actually starting to warm up i know you guys can like the sun is on me from my big window right here but y'all it was so cold freezing okay it was so cold but what made it worse was the fact that um Sorry about the ums, but the fact that the wind chill, it was so windy as well. So it just made it so much more cool. So y'all, my kids, some of my kids didn't have their coats after I told them how many times to bring their coats. And I ain't talking about the little ones. I'm talking about my old ones. Told them three times to make sure they have their coat. They didn't want to listen. You know, it was just so many stories to tell about that and... We went to all the monuments. It was just really nice. It was really nice. Um, 
what else we went to all the monuments we went to all the um museums we did get the chance to go to the african-american museum the new one and if you have the chance to go i highly recommend you go that was amazing we didn't get through the whole thing because it was just way too much to really to get through uh it was just and it was so crowded too that's another thing like out of all the museums of course they're all free all the smithsonian free um museums are free but the only thing different about the african-american one is because it's very new that they make you call i think it was like 6 30 a.m you have to call this line to reserve not call what am i talking about sorry not call you have to get on the internet and you have to on their website and reserve you know um tickets and they're free and everything but you have to reserve them and so the story behind that was that was hard itself the first time we went we got we just jumped in line didn't understand that you had to do that and they were like where's your passes and we we're like what passes so I was like, okay, next day we'll go ahead, you know, in the morning we'll go ahead and do that. My husband did that and we overslept because um, the time that he got was like 9.30 or something like that. And we, we just overslept. So the next day we were like, okay, we got to do it. We got to do it. So we went ahead uh, and did it and come to find out we didn't even need passes because my husband's active duty. But they told us that we needed those passes the first day. So... So the first day we could have went and walked right on in because of him being active duty. But so we had four passes and we were like, okay, so what do we do with them? We don't, you know what I mean? Like we could just give them to somebody. So we just told them and this lady overheard and she was like, um, you do you have free passes? And I said, yeah, you guys can take them. It's, it's, it's no big deal. We don't need them. So that, like I said, if you get a chance to go to the African American, go. I highly suggest it. It was so much history in there. It was, it was just so cool. They had this room with all the. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. But anyway, uh, so if, like I said, if you have the chance, do it. It is amazing. But just be prepared. You're gonna be standing in lines because that is a fairly new museum which all the others was very crowded but that one was like it was crowded it, it was definitely really really crowded but um that was amazing um just you know dc itself you know see honestly seeing the white house it was like okay to me i didn't feel any kind of way about the white house it, to me it was just a house Anybody else feel that way? But seeing the one that really took my breath away, which is very weird, very weird. I'll tell you guys about this another day, but was the Abraham Lincoln monument. Like that one, just how it was positioned, it was just so beautifully, like it was so pretty. You walk up these stairs and he was just right there. I know that's like, okay, he walk upstairs. But it was just so pretty how it was done. And when we went, it was in the evening time. So it was just, the pictures were just so pretty. It was beautiful. And the, the whole experience in D.C. was wonderful. Down to the food. Just, just everything. But I tell you this, the coldness was what killed us. I had to bring Dee Dee's. Thank God I brought her snowsuit. We had to purchase coats for the kids, which was terribly hard because apparently uh, spring is here. I know you East Coast folks are like, spring is not here. It's trying to warm up now, but it's not here. It's still fairly cold. And um, they were like, we're putting out the spring stuff. I said, it's cold. Are you serious? But anyway, um... The whole experience, we just have so many stories to tell. And you guys, I think I probably will do a video of that. But it'll be like a picture and maybe some video. You'll you'll get in and out of pictures and video of our time in D.C. Because I actually do want to share that with you guys. So um, thumbs up this video. Definitely if you want to see, you know, that video. And I will be sure to get that up. What is today? Monday. I will be sure to get that up by at least Friday this week. Okay. 
So DC was a big one. So after DC, which was what, two weeks ago, leads me to, I can't give a date, but I did say that my husband's deployed. And yeah, that's the biggest one. I can say what's been going on is getting him prepared, getting myself mentally prepared, getting the children prepared for daddy about to leave. The two oldest kids, which is Benjamin and Scarlett, they have been through two deployments already. And definitely they're used to the in and out, in and out when dad was on a ship. But now I'm being dealt with three more kids, which are baby Dee Dee. She's she's eight months and honestly, she'll adapt as much as we constantly say daddy, show pictures, Scott, you know, we have, excuse me, we still have phone access with him. So, you know, that thing so she can hear his voice and see him, you know, through what is it? Um, we do Marco Polo a lot, but the two little boys which is Mason and Cameron, they're four, Mason's four, Cameron's two. It might be a little difficult them understanding that dad's not coming home because Mason, just the other night, daddy, when are you coming home? And then, you know, my husband's showing on Marco Polo where he stayed at and, you know, that whole thing. And they're not understanding, that's your home now? You know, like, why aren't you here? So... We, we had, we, it's a lot of talking to the little ones because they don't understand, but we're going to get through it. It's, it's something that, you know how people say, you signed up for it. You know, for all those people that say you signed up for it, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Because we, we know what we sign up for, but have a little sympathy, okay? I guess I'm about to get a little passionate about this. Let me, let me cool down. Let me have a drink. By the way, don't look at my nails, y'all. I just took my nails off. So my nails are nubs right now and thin. This, these drinks, La Croix, what is it, La Croix? This one right here is the kiwi and watermelon. Oh my God. My husband hates these. My husband. My kids try to pretend they like it, especially the little ones, but I know they don't like it. They just want to have something of mine to drink. But I love these. But anywho, um, husband's deployed, so he's gonna be deployed for a while, and it's gonna be a lot of the kids and I, which you're gonna see. Which normally that's what you do see when I do vlogs, because my husband's normally not in the vlogs. He feels weird to be in front of the camera, but he's starting to warm up a little bit to it, you know, here and there. You guys saw him on what is that one? I can't remember which one it was, but you guys saw a little bit of snippet of him coming out of his shell a little bit. But this summer, I have lots and lots of things planned to keep us busy, to keep us occupied. So we're not steady thinking about daddy and for me, husband not being home, my other half, you know, and it's just, it's what it is. You know what I mean? You ain't got no choice. You keep moving, keep pushing and everything. And that's why. I keep the kids busy. Kids are about to be in sports soon. They actually start sports next week. Cameron, Cameron unfortunately can't be in sports. He's still too young. But Mason starts soccer. Scarlett's going to start her soccer. And Benjamin's going to start baseball all next week. Can you want to come say hi? Hi. Say hi, you two. Hi, you two. Say I'm about to start. What are you about to start? You about to start your um your sport. What, so what sport? What are you about to start? Soccer and basketball. No, 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 no. Ba basketball is gonna be for winter. He's mm -hmm. gonna be doing um basketball in the winter, but you're gonna be starting soccer soon. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna have fun? Mhm. Mm you wanna tell YouTube what you're playing right now? I play Super Mario Odyssey. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go because ahead. Because Mar Mario keep I keep blowing my hat. You keep blowing your hat. Yeah. That ain't good. Okay. Let mommy finish this video. Okay. So anyway, um, so like I said, keeping busy, sports, as you can see, um, this summer will be definitely a lot going on. I'll have my, I have three nieces in town. I'll have 
Of course, my kids think, uh, I don't know if my son, my oldest, will be going to Florida this summer. We'll see. But it's just going to be a lot of busy, busy, busy. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. And I'm going to have you guys with me on some of the stuff, you know, as long as I remember and sane enough. But definitely husband's gone, daddy's gone. So that's a big one that's just happened for us. And what else? I need to refer back to my notes. Oh, gym and eating habits. Y'all, I have ever since the beginning of last month, I had have been eating terribly. Meaning, I still continue my intermittent fasting, which I eat at 12 o'clock and my cutoff is 9 o'clock. But I'm going to be honest, y'all, whatever I wanted to snack on, it's been, it's been in this belly. So I have definitely gained some weight. I haven't gained a whole lot. But I sure have gained, why do I keep putting that up there? I had gained about five pounds. So, so you'll be uh, very happy to know that your girl started back up at the gym. Because that's another thing. I haven't been to the gym in two months. Ever since I stopped, um, no, ever since I went to my parents' house in February, I haven't been to the gym. Well, I went twice after that. But honestly, let's just say, I have not been to the gym. So... I went back today. Today is eating much better. I got to get back on it, y'all. The summer's going to be here, and I definitely want to be in my two-piece soup. Let's see if we can make that happen. So, yes. What else has been going on? Oh, yeah, y'all. I have been, you know doing a little saving and whatnot and i was able to purchase a very small item but it's an slg so it's small leather good if you're not familiar with that and it's a luxury item and i am so happy that i was able to get my hands on this item because it's very hard to get your hands on but I end up buying a small leather good. And if you're curious on what that small leather good is, thumbs up this video, y'all. Okay? And I will do a, a haul. Not a haul because it's just one of them. Um, an unboxing. <laughs> or I'll just reveal. How about that? I'll reveal that luxury item. Okay? So, Yeah. I am so excited to be able to purchase this. Now, my husband thinks I'm crazy because I feel like he feels like this has opened up a frenzy with me now. Like, oh my gosh, you're crazy. You know, this and that. But I figured this, you know what? You save your coin. If you know you want something that is on the luxury side and you're able to and you can save, do it. That's all I got to say. Just do it. My husband, he... What was it? He bought me my first Louis Vuitton purse back in 2014. And honestly, I never really held that purse because I was too afraid to at then. So it kind of just stayed in on a shelf. And um, every now and then I would wear it. But it, it's to a point now that, you know what? I don't know like I feel more comfortable I feel like when I hold stuff like that people look at you differently I don't know I don't know but I kind of come to the point like you know what screw it I am 32 years old I am comfortable where I'm at I am very happy at where I'm at I don't know if you guys can tell I am glowing no I am not pregnant cuz y'all know for the last what how many years your girl have been getting pregnant back to back, but none of that's going on. No, no, no. I am fixed. But anyway, I've just been happy. So I'm just kind of at a point where, you know what, if I want to buy something, if I want to save up for it and I have the means to save up for it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Why not? Why the freak not? You know what I mean? So if you guys want to see what that SLG is, that small leather, leather good that I bought, please thumbs up this video I know it was a little on the long side but hey you know it's what it is and you know your girl likes to talk so if you're not subscribed please do so if you're interested in anything to do with hair beauty related hauls and family vlogs please 
thumbs up and subscribe and oh by the way do you guys like my new intro i am feeling my new intro now i am enjoying it it's kind of cute what y'all think but anyway talk to you guys soon bye